Guess what time is, folks? It's cruise news time! On Monday, April 15, 2024, on the Disney Fantasy, a 35-year-old pregnant woman had to be evacuated from the ship because of some health issues. But at this moment, the ship was 180 miles northeast of Puerto Rico. So that's a real long distance for the U.S. Coast Guard to get to that ship. But when the U.S. Coast Guard got there, they were able to get this woman onto the helicopter and fly to the hospital. But the issue is she was pregnant. And the rule is once you hit 24 weeks of pregnancy, you are not allowed to be on the cruise ship. So was she 24? Was she 25? Was she 26? Or was she under the 24 mark? And maybe she has some complications of some health issues. Or maybe this happened. Did she actually go past the 24 week mark? But she got onto the cruise ship possibly with a forged doctor's note. It's all possible. I don't know. No one's saying why she was sick, what happened. All we know is that she was pregnant. The name saying her name, nothing. So more than likely, that's what I believe we'll probably have it is somehow she got onto the cruise ship with a forged doctor's note. Basically, the whole doctor note was a lie. Maybe she knows the doctor or somebody wrote one out for her. So that's why I believe what happened. And now, if this is true, if this is what actually did happen, Someone's going to need to be held accountable. My, my opinion is two things need to happen. If you do this, you should never be allowed back onto that cruise ship ever again. Not cruise ship, that cruise line ever again. And this doctor needs to be held accountable. Another Disney crew member has now been arrested for possession, numerous child sexual abuse material. And this is the third. Third employee in the last two months aboard the Disney Dream. But he is claiming that he buys porn from Facebook Messenger, Telegram, and that he downloads it sometimes, but without opening it, and then he deletes it. So he's giving a full story because he's just trying to cover his butt because he knows that he did something illegal that he should not be doing, especially when it comes with children. And the videos that were found on his phone were girls around the age of nine and had boys ranging from 10 to 12 years old. So this is very, very disturbing. And what makes matters even more worse is that they were for Disney. Disney is supposed to be kid-friendly place. It's all about the children. It's all about putting the cartoons for the children. And now you have people like this working for you. What's going on with these cruise lines? Are they not doing background checks? Are they not doing investigation on the people that they are hiring? Because they're going to be dealing with families. They're going to be dealing with little kids. You have these people babysitting your kids on these cruise lines. I mean, how can you trust a cruise line to look after your children if they're going to do stuff like this? And some serious changes need to happen. I'm not just saying with Disney, with all the cruise lines is, first of all, like I said, the hiring process. I've been going hard about the hiring process, that they're not doing a right job with the hiring process. But because I've also been seeing a lot of this stuff coming from Telegram, right? Telegram. I've seen Telegram before where I've even seen them try to scam me because I was buying crypto and they <laughs> were trying to <laughs> scam me. That I was like, yo, this is some bogus stuff on here. So... I never went back to Telegram after that because I felt like the whole thing about Telegram is about the black market, the whole bad thing that goes on in Telegram. And this is what these people are doing. I see them doing it through Telegram from what, all the reports that I get. So what the government needs to do is shut down Telegram because of this. I mean, this is simple fact, right? Telegram has a lot of illegal activity coming in and out of it. And this is a proof right here. I mean, I just hope soon some serious changes do happen. But if they do happen, 
the cruise line is not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you that they're changing their hiring prices. I wish they would tell us so that the fact as a customer, we feel more safe going onto your cruise line. So this story is crazy. So a woman on a Carnival cruise has tampered with the cruise line water bottle by refilling the large water bottles that you see in your stateroom when you first get there, but it costs money. Well, what she did was she used it, she drank it, she refilled it from the sink, and she took some glue and under the cap and tied it and made it seal so it looks like it's fully sealed. Now what happens is the room steward will go in there after your cruise, they clear, and they will see that you did not touch it. And now what's going to happen next is they're going to leave it there for the next cruise, thinking that you never even touched that water bottle. So now this is something that I believe that Carnival needs to change immediately. So maybe this doesn't happen again. And also, maybe there's other people already doing this because not for nothing, if I go in my cabin and I have something like this, guess what? There's a handful of things right here. First of all, I don't want someone else's germs. And from a customer perspective, you could sue Carnival if you go in there, and this is not a fresh bottle of water. If it's a water that was from the previous cruise that someone opened and someone used, and the worker for Carnival did not see this because they're not going to notice it. And it's a common mistake because someone intentionally put water in it after they had already drank out of it. From a public relations standpoint, this is not something that Carnival wants to have. Because guess what? If customers see that this has happened, what do you think is going to happen? They're going to lose business. So what they need to do is get rid of those water bottles that you see in your stateroom. If you want a water bottle, guess what? Go get it yourself. Order it before you go on the cruise. You have your thermostat. Bring the thermostat with you. And also, if you've already been on a Carnival cruise, if this is not your first cruise, you get a free water bottle regardless. And you could just take that water bottle down to the buffet, put some water in it, and you're fine. What I always do is that I always buy water before I go on the cruise, but I also come with a thermostat because when I get off the cruise ship, I fill it up with ice and water so that when I'm at the port, I already have water with me. So in the comments below, tell me what you think Carnival should do and what should Disney now do with their current situation? Well, thank you all for watching the show today. Until next time, everybody, safe travels.